guys, what's up? My name is Eddie, owner of Easy Vending. I'm back today with another video for y'all. Um, something that I think might help y'all out is something that I use every day um, to do my route and, and help my vending business. The reason I use it is that I know a lot of people use softwares and stuff, but I just don't feel like unless you got a lot going on, I don't, I don't know, just not paying $20 a month for a software. Actually, it's more depending on which one you're using if you got more than like 20 locations. So it would be more for me. So I'm not paying that much, um, especially since this is working pretty good for me. So anyway, I'm going to go through this real quick for you guys. It's really simple and basic. Um, I posted this on another channel I got. It's just one of those channels where, I don't know, if I feel philosophical or whatever, I kind of make a video and post it on there. But um, I'm posting this on here too. And there's also a modification that I made on here. I actually made a couple, but I was having some troubles with them, so I took them out. When I update this, I want to update it with some charts and stuff. I'll let y'all know, make another video, and y'all can, you know, probably get that one. But um, I changed this one up a little bit. Uh, so look, it's, it's real simple and basic, guys. I got four pages here, right? I got four pages here. Page one, two, three, and four, right? And I got a totals page. All right, so starting from the top, you put the business name, address, city and zip. You can put the county if you want, the phone number, equipment. This could be, a, and then look, this sheet could be for bulk machines, owner boxes, um, full line machines, it don't matter. So you put the equipment, you'll put the contact name of the person. If, it, if you pay a, a commission or a charity, that'll be calculated here at 10%. You can change that, I'll show you in a second. Um, you put the setup date, the number of days it's been there. Honestly, I don't really update the number of days part. I really don't care about that because it's, it's going to be in here when you start putting the dates in. And then um, right here on the left side, you got the date that you service the machines, the products that you put in the machines, how much it costs to put it in the machine. So basically your cost of goods and the gross that you got when you pull from the machines. All right, and these fields will automatically populate. So look, let's go through this. I mean, these up here are self-explanatory, okay? Business information. The date, you can just put whatever date. So let's use today's date. Today is the 27th, all right? So 1, 27, 20. All right, under products, I added a drop-down menu just to make it easier because, you know, I don't know. I just didn't want to keep typing in stuff, so it's just easier. Um, I was going to make the field so you couldn't change it, but then I thought that would be kind of stupid, but... I'd rather you just be able to, like, if you wanted to, for instance, let's put sample item. If you just wanted to type in sample item, right, you can do that too. Or you can put sample item in the drop down menu so you don't have to keep doing that. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So you got the drop down menu right here. And in this drop down menu field, I already have some stuff in here. So I got like one inch gumballs, gumballs, light pops, mic at nights. Now later is peanut M and all the way down to sweet tarts. This is some of the stuff that go in the um on the boxes and to the uh bulk machines. If you got full line machines, you'll put other stuff in there. And so let me show you how to do that. So to change or add to or take away from what's in these drop down menus, you only want to highlight the row starting right under the word products. Highlight the whole row. And I'm using Open Office, guys. It's a free, it's free to use, open source. You just go to the uh, site, open office, Google it, go to it, download it. Works for free. You ain't got to pay for um, the whole Microsoft suite and all that, Excel and everything. You don't got to pay for that. This has everything that Microsoft has, and you can do the same stuff pretty much. Like if I wanted to do a new document, basically I can do a text document, which is like Microsoft Word, spreadsheet, which is like Excel, a presentation, which is pretty much like, um, what's the name of it? PowerPoint. And so on and so forth, right? I can do the same stuff. Um, it's just different software, but uh, it's free to use. So anyway, highlight that row, okay? You're going to go up here to data. And if you are using the Microsoft Suite, you can still open this document in that. It's just some of your stuff might be a little different or whatever, but you can still do the same things, okay? So you'll go up here to data, click on that. You'll come down to validity. Select validity. Then the first tab is criteria. Under criteria, make sure a list is already selected. And that list is the stuff, all right? You can add to this. You can take away from it. You can unselect this and make it to where you can't leave an empty cell. 
You can even go over here, man, make an error message. You can make it to where you can't even input information unless the information is already in the drop down list. I'm not going to do that to you guys. I'm going to let you do that if you want to mess around with this. I suggest that when you start messing around, you save a master copy and you mess around with, you know, another copy. Anyway, all right, so let's just do this. We're going to go down here to the drop to the um list. Press enter and we're going to put sample item. And since sort entries ascending is already selected, it's going to be in alphabetical order. Select OK. All right, then we're going to go back. And as you can see, sample items in our drop down menu. I could just select it. No typing involved. All right. So now let's just say you had a double hit, right? Instead of Northwest and triple play. And in my double hit, I have Mike Knights. No, you don't want to put Mike Knights in a double hit. Go peanut M Ms and one inch gumballs. All right, and then since this field we don't have nothing because this is a double head, we can just select. Well, you know what we're gonna do? We'll go back to data, validity, and I'm gonna add none. Yeah, hold on one second. If you want it to be in all the rows, guys, you got to make sure you select the whole row. Or it's just going to um, change just that one field. All right. So in the sample items, I'm going to put none. Select OK. Now, go back here. None, because I don't have a candy there. All right. So let's just say we set this machine up today. All right. I'm going to the setup date. Today is 1 27 2000. Um, 127, 2000. All right, you can select your item with using the drop-down menu. All right, your cost of fill is your cost of goods, so you calculate how much your money. I also got another uh, spreadsheet coming up for you guys. This spreadsheet automatically calculates your cost of goods. It's much faster. No calculator, no doing paper or stuff. It's automatically in there, man. You just put a number in there or whatever. You can calculate your cost of goods. All right, I'm using it mostly for bulk and um like. On the boxes, but you can use it the same way if you are uh, doing full line. I would just have to change some things up for you, but I'll do another video on that later. But anything, you got your cost of goods in there, all right? This is going to be zero, right? Because we don't have an item there. And as you can see, as I'm doing this, the field over here to the right is automatically populating, right? And our gross is going to be zero because we don't have anything there. All right, so that automatically populated, automatically changed. As we do that, these numbers on the back will automatically change as well. So now look, I got 162.50, 83.49, 16, 24, 62.76. I'm going to just make a dramatic change so y'all can see the difference. We'll change it by 100 bucks. All right, we'll say $100 gross. And as you can see, everything changed. All right. So this gives you the total of all your locations, what you're doing as far as, you know, cost of goods and, and gross income go. The same calculating all your expenses. All right, this is just a machine breakdown. All right, so let's undo that. So now, as far as the commission goes, now some locations you might not be paying a commission. That's fine. You would just select the percentage field, type in zero. It won't calculate a commission for that page, for that machine or box, whatever. Won't calculate a commission. All right, it'll just do it for the other ones. As long as you did zero there, won't matter. So now if I do gross income of 20 bucks, right? That's automatically going to my net. Only thing coming out is my cost of goods. Now, if I go back, I put that 10% back in there. And then I put that 20 bucks again. See, it's a difference in price. So let's say if I wanted, if I was paying a different amount of commission, right? Maybe you got um, a rack somewhere. And let's just say you're paying 25% commission on that rack. Just type in 25, check it, and then it'll calculate 25%. And you see the net change as well. All right. So if whatever commission you amount you paying or charity amount you paying, you just put that in there. It'll automatically automatically subtract that from your net, and it'll automatically update your totals on this uh, back page right here. Okay. So that's simple. I'm gonna put that back to 10%. And I think the final thing, uh, oh, and then down here, if you want, 
you can just put like if you got a key for a, a machine you just put the key number if you want you can put a charity if you got a charity for that box and any other notes as pertains to that specific location these two fields down here are basically the sum total of these up here now look here's what I do of course I'm not using my own spreadsheet because I'm not about to put my financial information out there but here's what I do let's just say I had this machine at a location right this was a two-head machine whatever all right or three-head machine I only update these so I would do this I would go let's just say I serviced it on the 127.20 right change these All right, let's just service it that day. Now you can keep going down. Like let's say your next service date is next month, around February, whenever. Let's just say February twentieth. You can do February twentieth, and then do three more fields, and put the same candies, or if you got different candies, and put the same info. Right? Just add the info. Gumballs. I'm just selecting stuff. Whatever. All right, you can do that. Me, what I do because I don't want to keep on going down, and then when you get down here, you got to start inserting stuff and it can kind of mess up the formula so I don't do that every month when I go so let's just say I went next month on February 20th I would just put 2 20 20 and I would change all these to that date right and then over here off to the side this is where I do all the different dates so in January when I went on the 27th I would have already put 1 27 20 and then all you got to do guys is just type this in right Cogs, gross. All right, and so I would just say like, okay, so in January, let's just say it was fourteen twenty-two. I would I would do the totals of these amounts right here. So whatever I put in for that month, so fourteen twenty-two, and if I pulled anything, I was. Well, if this was the first time I was setting the machine, it wouldn't be a gross, right? So then, when I came back in February, let me say 2 2020, then I will put in any amount that was that I added to the machine, cost of goods wise. So if I had to put more candy in the machine or whatever, I will put the total of that amount here, and then whatever I pulled from the machine. I will put up here because that was last month's total, right? That was from what I put in there in January. So that gross will go up here. The new cost of goods will go down here. And then when I collect it in March or whatever, I will put that gross there. As far as over here, I just changed the date on these three sides. So I would change it to February. Wouldn't have to change these, right? Because you'll probably have the same candy. And I just add to the totals that are here. All right, I just add to these totals. So if I added another, let's just go Mike and Ike's. If I added another five dollars of Mike and Ike's to this, I would change this to nineteen twenty-two. Right? It's going to automatically populate down here. I would change that to nineteen twenty-two. Let's just say I added five dollars of product to each. All right. So nineteen twenty-two. We have five dollars to this, so that's eight fifty-four. And we have five dollars to this, so that's nine fifteen. All right, but that's fifteen dollars worth of product. So, and this is in February, right? We're going like after we done went after January, we're going February. So in February over here, I will put fifteen dollars product cost of goods, and and to do that, you just type in fifteen, select the little currency button, and that's it, right? So that's fifteen dollars that I added, and I wouldn't have collected any money, yet, or the money I collected would be here. Let's just say I collected whatever amounts right here. Let's say the Michael Knights made about eight bucks too, all right? So what I would have collected is fifty-four seventy-five, which is nice. All right, because that was for January. Wouldn't have collected nothing yet in February, but I did add money. So this lets me know here on the side I do this because this lets me know month to month what I'm doing instead of having to keep adding lines over here because this is going to fill up pretty quick, you know? I, I, this lets me know month to month, and I don't have to worry about inserting lines and messing with the formulas. Here, I just keep changing these dates here. If it's a two head, I'll just keep changing the two. If it's a three head, I'll just keep changing the three, and I'll just add to the totals that are already here. 
But if you keep adding to the totals months down the line, you're not going to know every month how much you made or how much you put in. So that's why you do it over here so you can know month to month how much you made and how much you put in. So that's how I do it. You can use the sheet however you want. That's just what works for me, y'all. So let's go to the final thing. And let me show you how to add a sheet. All right. All that you need to do is to add a sheet is to right click on the last sheet. All right. Make sure it's the last sheet. Right click on it. Select insert sheet. Make sure you select after current sheet. And then for name, just name it a number. If you mess up this name part, it's not going to calculate properly on the total sheet. All right. So just put the number. You're going to put number five because we already got four sheets. So after the current sheet, number five, select OK. Then you can go back to one of the sheets you already used. All right. Select everything. And it's Control C. Go back to the empty sheet. Control V for paste. And there you go. Now it's going to be the information, of course, from you know whatever you copy, but I mean all you gotta do is just change all the info. But you got one more step because this is not going to automatically populate on this last one. So what you would do is go to your totals page after you copied and pasted it on your new sheet. Go to your totals page and you're gonna have to select these yellow boxes. So select the first box. Right up here in the top is a formula. All right, don't be intimidated by that. On the last part of the formula, you're gonna see a number that's in parentheses or whatever, apostrophe, whatever you want to call it, right? So you see where the four is at. I said, just make sure you select in between them. And before you do all this, make sure you got a master copy. If you mess up, you can always start over. So use a master copy, then you start making your adjustments and all that. And before you save it, you know, you can make sure it's right. But if you do mess up, at least you got a master copy, all right? I always suggest you make a master copy first before you start doing anything. All right, so anyway. Select between those two apostrophes. I'm just going to delete the four and put five. All right, so there's five between these two right here. Hit the check box. It's going to update. So now that'll update. You got to do this for each of the yellow boxes. I'm going in between, doing this check box. And you just do the same thing every time that you add a page. It wouldn't matter if you got 20 pages, you would just put do the same exact thing. So like once I add page number six, I would just right click on five, insert sheet. Um, after the current sheet, I would name it just the number itself, six, copy and paste. And then you just go to your total sheet, click on these yellow boxes and make sure you change your previous number to the new current number. It will automatically update for all those pages. So now, if I go back to sheet number five, just so you can see, see here's our totals, right? It did update once I changed that number, but just to show y'all more clearly, I'm gonna put 1,000 in my gross. Can you see that? See the big numbers? All right, so it's updating. That's how you can test it to see if it worked. We'll put 3,000 over here in cost of goods. Negative 2,000, go back here, negative, all right? Charity, let's go, let's erase that, delete that, and just put something else outrageous, 5,000, all right, so that's $400 in commissions, or $500 in commissions, and you come back here and you can see that, all right, so that's basically it, guys, all right, nice little spreadsheet, I use it all the time, man, I actually, what I did, I got two of them. So I, I made one copy and I used it just for my honor boxes. And then I made another copy that I used just for my bulk machines. And I got some other adjustments that I did on them. Like I put graphs on them and everything like that. Um, but uh, so I use one sheet for my honor boxes just so I can see how my honor box business is doing because I don't want to mix it with the bulks because I track them all separately. And then I got my bulk machines. And like I said, you can see exactly how your peanut M&Ms is doing. You can see exactly how Skittles is doing, whatever. And if you do, like I said, as far as like over here, this will give you your month to month what it's making. So like March come up, you would just put the month of March, you will put whatever you put in that machine in March, just March. And then you will put whatever you, whatever you pull from it in March, 
was basically for February. So you put that up top, and this would still be zero for the moment. Over here, you just add to your totals. You just add to your totals, and then it'll automatically calculate down here, and you can get an idea of what's going on. All right, so that's it. Look, if you want this updated sheet, all you got to do is email me at uh, easyvendingservices at gmail.com. That's E A Z Y V E N D I N G uh, services, all one word, at gmail.com. Do me a favor, though, y'all. I was going to say you got to subscribe to uh, get the sheet or charge you for it, but I ain't even about that. I mean, I'll make some more modifications, and when I do, I think I'm going to have to. Um, but for now, look, somebody help me out. I'm going to help y'all out. This make your life easier. Just email me. Let me know you want the sheet, um, and I'll send it to you. That's easyvendingservices at gmail.com. But if you can do me a favor and at least show some love by subscribing, you know, liking this video, then I'd greatly appreciate that too, all right? So that's it for now. Y'all be back. I'll show y'all the video of the other spreadsheet that does all your cost of good calculation for you. Before you have to buy, like if you're thinking about buying something, but you want to know how it's going to come out cost of goods while you don't got to grab your calculator, your pencil, or nothing. Just put the numbers in there. You know, calculate for you. You know if you should buy it or not. How much you gonna make off of it? I'll do that video for y'all another time. So, look, this helped you out. Hit that like and subscribe button. Share this with somebody you know. And if you want the sheet, just email me. And at least just do me the return favor. I'm helping you out. Help me out by subscribing. All right. This is Eddie Easy Vending. Peace.